So in doing this combo, a lot of newer Makotos tend to drop it right here at the first card for Yukage. And the thing that you want to keep in mind when doing this part of the combo is you really want to let the stick go back to neutral before you plink heavy kick and medium punch to do the Kara. It's very, very important. And it's one of the things that you have to just kind of get into your muscle memory before you attempt to try to consistently land the combo. During the combo, there's a halfway point that'll tell you that you're on track to hit the rest of it. And that's after the first dash under, you see the screen shift over slightly to the direction that you've dashed under. If you see that screen shift, that is your green light to go for the second Fukage. And if you've done everything right, it should look something like this. See? Easy. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. So the key here is to need to look at where you land the Fukage underneath the twins. If you're directly underneath them, that means that you haven't hit the Kara and the next Fukage is going to drop. If you land slightly offset, that means that you're on point and you can go for the second Kara Fukage. It should look something like this. There are three characters in this game where if you do this combo, you don't have to Kara anything. And that's Alex, Hugo, and Necro. Necro, I still like to do the Kara Fukage just because it gives me a little bit of extra insurance. But for Alex and Hugo, this is a totally viable way to do the combo. I'll whoop your ass. Ah! This matchup is ass for Akuma. And I'll show you why right now. Here, watch this. 